Hi guys, this is Cindy from Jackson County Public Library. For Curious Kids today, we are gonna make apple boats. We are gonna take, you're gonna need apples. You could cut it in half and then cut it in half again. You're gonna need toothpicks, tape, construction paper, scissors, and a tub to float your boat in, okay? So first we're gonna take and make a sail for our boat. And you can make it any shape or size or any color. If you have pencils or crayons at home, you could turn around and color the cells however you want. I'm going to take and tape my toothpick to my construction paper. And then we're gonna insert it into the half of the apple. Do you think the apple will float? Or do you think it will sink? Our water is um, very dense. Our apples are made out of 25% air. Let's see if our apple floats. And it does. So then you can get behind it. Oh, blow and see if you can get your boat to go one end to the other. Let's try to make a canoe out of one. With it being half of it, let's see what kind of shape I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a round sail this time. Kinda of like a, let's see if it works on our kayak, our canoe. It is a toothpick here. Again, the water is very dense and the apple is 25% air, so it's not as dense. So then our apple will float. Let's try this one. Oh, it don't work as well because the stick is too heavy. Let's see if we can make it a little bit smaller. Let's see if that does any difference. Nope, it still goes to the side. So, we know half of the apple will float, and then we can use our air for our sail to sail him around the top of our uh, water. Again, I'm Cindy with Jackson County Library. If you have any questions or concerns or anything, please give us a call. Um, again, have fun with it. Make whatever kind of sales you'd like. Thanks.